and gentlemen, welcome back. It has been about um a month. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you know, I bad. But welcome back to the masked beatboxer. We are in the finale, baby. Oh yeah. Oh. Hey, we have our wide oh. array panel of judges this week because of the finale. We have everybody who isn't here in the past. We have Alexinho, Azel, Base Ventura, and Frosty. Hi, guys. And of course, I have my lovely, lovely co host, Busy Body, Biz Kid. What is up? This week, the competitors are. Yeah, I gave him a little bit of a challenge. Not only is there three competitors this week, but there's an extra. We have four because we have four judges, and I had asked the competitors to do a cover of the judges. Who will do it? Who will win the money that I don't want to give up? Ba, ba, ba. But hey, fuck it. Let's get it. Oh, what? I'm sorry. What's that? Oh, right. This week, uh, we have a sponsor. Holy shit. My first sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-da! That's right, bitch! Thanks, Venture, as a sponsor. Thank you so much, BV, for, for sponsoring this episode and the finale of The Masked Beatboxer. I hope you guys are having a good time, and I just want to say, with all the drama and chaos and turmoil and destruction and everything that's happening in the beatbox scene right now with, you know, wild cards and uh, announcements and... Uh, Toxicity. I think we can all agree that let's just have a distraction. Yeah? Yeah. Sounds great. Let's have some good old fashioned beatbox <laughs> fun, baby. Let's get into let's it. Uh, BV, would yeah. you like to say anything about the, the ting ting? Yeah, the so ting -ting. The, beat, <laughs> the ting ting ting. The next drop that's coming out is called the Inspiration <clears throat> Collection. This is taken from a snapshot in time when I decided to take beatboxing seriously. My two main inspirations were Reaps One and Tom Thumb. So I thought to make this drop extra, extra special, which is going to be on the 10th of February, uh, I reached out to both Tom and Reaps to help me design this first uh, drop of clothing. So we have the tag sweatshirt, which is this one, designed by Tom Jeez. Thumb. Yeah, uh, all, yeah, all the champion collab, as you can see, we have the... Oh, wait, nope, nope, we lost it. <gasps> there we go. Champion <laughs> collab on the caps. Uh, we have the tag sweatshirt. We have It's the 999 t-shirt. We also have the BV beanies, like you can see. Oh, uh, but Chelsea's is pink and that's special. She, she's keeping that yeah, one. And then we got Biscuit in the uh, the classic BV Cap Champion collaboration too. 10th of Feb. Keep the date locked in. Many surprises to come. Big love. Let's go. Editor, can we do uh, some fucking crazy explosions and pew, pew, pew? Yeah! 10th of February. Remember that date. Link will be in the description as well as everybody else here on the panel. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, last week... <coughs> I'm sorry, did I say last week? I meant last month. Um, we we ended with the March hair. The March hair this week is covering Alexinho. Oh. So. Uh, <laughs> yes. If you guys missed it, the timestamps nice. will be the link in description for all the rules and regulations and whatnot. But these four people, these four beatboxers are competing to win $100 each. Can they do it? Will I save my money? Who knows? Let's check it out. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to read the March hair shit again. So if you want to just give a little... A little... Oh, that's sexy. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Oh, he's in his robe. Love it. And the BV cap, yeah? Tea, anyone? This lovable rabbit comes straight from the party. Never even thinking about sleeping, the March hair's moods are quite all over the place. Most of the time seeming confused, it's actually quite the opposite. He likes to bring the confusion. Some would call him a trickster, or even a troll. Either running riddles till your head spins, or sitting in complete silence like the heart that beats is frozen. The March Hare definitely has a way with guests. A master of the tea party, his presence shakes the room like the flow of his riddles and rhymes. His energy is endless with the Mad Hatter. He's not shy when he runs into Alice. Here, have some wine, he offers her. Where he comes from? God, they love their Oh, my God. 
that was sick. Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, that poly was nice. <laughs> he, he does it even sounds. better than me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Who the fuck? Height? But he's yeah. French. Let's just go with the French this time and not get confused with Epos or anything. <laughs> yeah. So, so last week, so, so last time we did Epos and we obviously got it wrong, and he covered zero, right? Mm -hmm. That was that was the last the last time. Mm -hmm. So, in the actual clues, I know it's bring the confusion. Um, who from France does Polly well? Mm. Back Max. Back yeah. Max, and uh, I'm. I think I'm 90, 95 percent sure it's it's him now. Okay. Yeah. Because of this poly voice, like. Yeah. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking exactly the same. We I said last week same. it was Pac Max as well. So. All right. Yes. Yeah. That the, that was very quick. Uh, just like that was fast. You guys sniffing at Elise is you are, you're sure. This is your final decision. You agree, Do you guys agree? I'm, I'm with you, yeah, I'm with Pac Max. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, down man. for it because yeah. we went Pac Max last yeah. week, so. Yeah. yeah. Process of elimination. <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> All right, busy, you, you know what to do. <laughs> yes! Ooh! Yes! Uh, that was let's actually go! Max. Let's go! So you got me, you got me, yeah. So big up, big up to you, to you, because I, I like you, I really like you, you too, you also, but I, I just don't like you, yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Good job, guys. Congratulations. You guys got that right off the fucking bat. I know some of you guys are saying in the comments, Azel, very, very good choice, but I would never have a judge be a competitor. That would just be rigged, obviously. So, but you guys thought I was that meta, but no, I, 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 you like flipped it and I flipped it back. I was like, nah. <laughs> I'll let you think that though. But yeah, good job, guys. Very nice, very nice. Going down with the breakdown of the clues. Okay, a trickster or a troll? That is the first clue. Yes. Yeah. He's known to be kind of a troll. If you don't know Pac Max, beatbox no. bottle. It's a beatbox bottle. Yeah, you should do your research. The next clue is sitting in complete silence, like the heart that beats is still frozen. If you guys have actually ever seen some of Pac Max's like reacting videos or funny videos, he just sits there and completely just does not move. <laughs> It's really fucking funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the wine thing where he comes from, they sure do love their wine. Obviously, he's from France. That could have been Italy, but you guys got it. Pac Max, I'm so sorry if you're seeing this. Thank you for making it past one round, but unfortunately, you lost out on the hundred dollars. <laughs> Alex Senior sniffed you out. Everybody sniffed you out here. Coming up next is the Dormouse covering Base Ventura. Busy, if you'd like to give me some, uh, he's a little drunk mouse, so if you want to give me some, some loopy shit, that'd be funny. Perfect. Coming up next is the Dormouse. Did somebody say tea party? No need to pour me one, I'm already in the pot. Though the Dormouse only makes a brief appearance in the tale of Alice in Wonderland, he definitely is one of the more memorable characters. A drunk little mouse with a good attitude everybody can get along with. If you ever need something, he's always there. He's always gathering at parties and teaching new tricks, drunk or not. Though he has a simple present, the Dormouse actually has an interesting past. He once started the mouse revolution against the rats in 1936. Unfortunately, they lost, which explains why he drinks so much. Either way, he seems to be always living life and shooting for the stars. Is the dormouse. Oh, I, I don't know, the... man. 
<laughs> I think this is the first competitor to ever use a good setup to record audio. For <laughs> yeah, I know. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, three, at the three same episodes time. in, and we finally <laughs> peaked. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the same time, though, I feel I feel like the like the, the EQ is so kind of like overdone that you, that you just can't hear like you can't hear any characteristics at okay. some point. But I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. But I'm angry. <coughs> but we'll co we'll come to that. Uh, not really. I mean, he couldn't. He didn't do the the like voice crack part. So maybe that's saying something that you just can't that's do. Good it. Point. The the lip rolls and the bass is really strong. So it's someone with a very good sub bass lip roll by the sounds of it. I kind of hear. I don't think it's him, but I kind of hear Ziad Sweden a little bit in the beat. A little bit, maybe the bass or the lip rock. Other than that, I really don't know. And the the riddle, I don't okay. know. Okay, so I know it's teaching. You emphasize drunk. I don't know whether that's because either I'm a drunk or they're a drunk. Uh, <laughs> simple present. Uh, revolution. Uh, mice and rats. 1986, which could indicate age potentially. And shooting for the it's stars. 1936, so definitely not has to do with age. Yeah. <laughs> 90, yeah. Okay, so I have 1986. All right. Maybe, maybe I am the drunk man, it seems. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, so I don't know. In my, my thoughts were the EQ and the bass itself sounded like mixed effects to me. Hmm. I don't know whether he can do voice cracks, but I, I mean, it sounded to me like Biscuit as well. So it could be evil one. She could be trying to do us <laughs> over, but you know. Nah. Who, who does a good chest bass? And I know mixed effects is chest bass. It's definitely not him. Not that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we I got was that thinking 30, then. at the start they they spoke about a T. So I was thinking it was maybe someone in English. I wouldn't again, get too wrapped up in the T oh, because well, the tea party is a big thing of Alice in Wonderland. Everybody. Yeah, he's in T. I yeah. just yeah, I've just yeah. seen that. Okay. <laughs> Plus so Chelsea only knows uh, me. You from the UK <laughs> anyway. Fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Azel, uh, Alex, then, uh, have you have any um any comments? Any any thoughts? I had some influence like at the beginning of it. It was like kind of like the voice was so familiar to a beatboxer, which is in this case big man. But in some other aspects, um, I felt completely different in terms of sound design, the kicks, the prod bass, and whatever. That was that. That is so tricky. I cannot like define a unique beatboxer. I hear multiple ones. It's it's confusing. <laughs> Fuck. Shooting for the stars. T. And the t uh, a tea and pot. I know teapot from UK, and I know some terms that are related from him. Some. What happened in 1936? Does anyone know the history? Ah, uh, fuck Was me. Is there any war? I'm thinking World War Two, but that ended in uh, 1945. 40, yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, can I risk everything and say just teapot? Like, I, I, I'm gonna go all in. That's a very good guess. If that's your guess, then everyone's gonna. He's a gambling man. I, d I don't hear teapot in the beat at all. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> no. I, I, I don't yeah, hear me teapot. Neither, me neither. <laughs> just because of the teapot. Like, I've just oh. never heard teapot. I've just never. Don't heard let teapot. some words confuse you. Not every word is a riddle. <clears throat> some words are meant to throw you off. Was that a riddle? 1936. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, it, it says about teaching. Yes, it does say it yeah, about teaching. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'll let you guys have a little hint. That is a clue. Teacher. So this is what made me think of mixed effects because he teaches. He's got good bass, and I know he's got good voice control. Like he can, he can sing and shit. So that's why I think a mix. He's got a, he's got a very of... distinct voice though, and I don't hear that. Yeah, man. Because whoever it's this so is, diverse. has a really soft right. voice. And yeah. true, but they are just, they are well. just trying I to copy up, them, I picked up that their actual beats, like their kick and stuff, is actually quite subtle. It's clean, but it's like, like it's it's not, like it's quite. Man, uh, the riddle actually describes Teapot since the beginning until the end, shooting for the stars. He's shooting for Beatbox International. He's actually like recording stars and not stars, like popular beatboxers and not for a popular youtube channel so it could be related somehow you know but I, i'm not gonna go there just like the beatboxing is the beatboxing part is like completely diverse to him like his part does teapot have stuff. chest bass i don't, know. I don't really it does know. but i it, it doesn't you, sound like him it really doesn't to me i think it's someone who does either tutorials or like gives lessons maybe i just had a thought though because if it if it was teapot then there's a reason why the audio was was good because he's got path they just do a little ting ting on it i 
I did hear like a little bit in the uh Dude. It sounds a bit like Antilt style of drums. You would you but, would know you would know if it's Antilt, you'd know by the voice, I'm sure. Yeah, I think the actual he's, voice he's, itself isn't it doesn't sound He's already like made it. a routine based off that routine, so I think he would not be able to help but do <coughs> the one that he does. The thing that confuses me in the beatbox part is that the falsetto at the beginning. I never heard Tipo's falsetto. Never. So it could be him. In the um, in, in the riddles, there's a lot. I think a lot of uh, clues to, to to see. Like I wrote about yeah. memorable, the lost war, and the past. So I, I think he's or was a beatboxer who did something big in in a battle, but lost. And then like we didn't see him for a long time and come back. I don't know. Maybe he did something dope when he was 19 and now he's 36. In that case, to be in that, in that case, in that case, to be in the bar, yeah. In yeah, he'd be, old, he'd be OG. They lost in 1936. I can't mm-hmm. decipher where he's from, but this is a this is a tough one. This is probably the hardest one. They didn't do the lyric in that routine as well. That would have gave it away. <laughs> they said we are gonna fall. Yeah. Did they? Oh, I didn't hear. Yeah, they did. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah, that, I didn't pick up on anything on that. Ah, uh, about the teaching. The English teaching, sounds teaching, solid. So. It does. Teaching. Yeah. Do we have a forfeit? <gasps> No, it's not. <laughs> no. Hell no. We don't lose. A lost war. Well, Chelsea, why are you encouraging a forfeit? You're going to hey, lose $100. You know what? I'm trying to help some homies out. But, it, I mean, you guys... I... All right, who, who teaches on homies? YouTube? Homies? <laughs> oh. See, Antil oh. does teach. He does do tutorials on YouTube. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking, but it doesn't sound yeah. like his voice. And if it was <laughs> Antil, he would have done that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Because he can do that. Mm-hmm. Bibi's on the right track, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he know, knows the melody too well to do it. Because that wasn't the complete right melody. So he knows the melody too well to not do it that way. Um, yeah. so, who okay, so but, tutorials? tutorials on YouTube. Uh, Benja. We know he has chest. We know that he's got kind of like that kind of kit sound. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never really heard him do well. So I mean, I yeah, heard. he's got... He's got, yeah, but you'd notice that bass from a mile off that, like, kind of, like, uh, two Tony, over Tony bass. I, I would like to point out that Chelsea just said, I'm trying to help was, some everyone's homies my out. Homie. Don't let that confuse so maybe, you. Uh, <laughs> I don't let that confuse mm. you. <laughs> Good is, Biscuit. You should be a judge, too. <laughs> I'm playing fifth judge over here. Co-host slash judge. <laughs> Good shit. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything because I think I know who it is, but I'm not going to say anything. Mm. Okay. All I, all I, <laughs> saying is I think I know who it is. Memorable, good attitude, teaching, lost war. <laughs> lost good a war. Of, good lord, <laughs> Chelsea. Who the fuck is this guy? Jesus. <laughs> um, I'm thinking like it's not like, because you're saying about homies and stuff. It's not like uh, like Vino or something. Does Vino, Vino have chest? chest? Yeah, I, 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 I'm right. I'm, I'm almost certain that it's Vino for two reasons. So you said about uh, shooting for the stars, and he does. I'm a motherfucking star boy. He does like a cover of that, and he, when he does his, uh, when he does his, uh, he always relentless for using this, uh, this trumpet technique. And then when he does, um, cause we are gone. I had a little bit of Canadian coming out there. I'm certain of it. I think it's Vino, but don't take my word for it. Guess. Make your own decisions. I That's just think it is. Guess. I don't know. Before we make that, where is has Vino taught he, anything? Does he do? He he's done. Do he's lessons. done YouTube tutorials before now, and I'm pretty sure he's. I'm, I'm sure he he's, does do lessons. I'm sure he's taught independently. Yeah. Yeah, but this this riddle makes it seem like he's known for That's it. True. I I was listening to I was listening true. to the to the words like specifically, and I heard a, <laughs> and it sounded very it sounded very like North American. That's all I'm gonna say. It could be Canada. It could be America. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> With a hang. Water. They could live halfway across the border, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I'm down with Vino because I don't know, but um, I I'm, I don't know. I just yeah. As soon as I heard, yeah, yeah, I just thought, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, if Vino. we lose, it's on you. Yeah, it's on me. Fuck it, let's go. I mean, it's, it's me anyway. He's covering right. in it, so if I lose it, um, <clears throat> drum roll, please. Busy. Okay. <laughs> It was 
Kingdo. It was me. I hope you guys enjoyed the song cover. Shout out to BV. No, you guys guys are wrong. Shout out to Hershey for inviting me to this. This was so I knew it was Kingdo. All the time with my grandma. So like. Mess beatboxer, I was kind of like, the the super fuck? awesome concept too. Shout out to Hershey <laughs> again. Give her a like. I just done videos with the guys, bro, oh, man. Boy, I should know. I hope you enjoyed it. Shout out to the judges. Shout out to everyone else on the video. Love all you guys. Yeah, it was me. I knew it. I knew it was Kendo. I'm goaded. I heard it in the quiet. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Kendo, if you're watching this. You just won a hundred dollars. I'm gonna be messaging you for your Venmo. Congrats. You stomped the judges. This is a very, very good one. So going over the breakdown of the clues. One of the clues was a good attitude everyone can get along with. I feel like Kendo is pretty notoriously known for having a very generous nice attitude he's a very nice guy so i threw that in there uh the next clue was teaching new tricks that does have to do with his tutorials on youtube he does teach tutorials and the last um clue was was not actually shooting for the stars it was revolution he has a song called revolution so i threw that in there as well it's a revolution it's a revolution so yeah, that was a really, really tough one. You guys did a really good job. Yeah, that was Honestly, big ups to you guys. We could have been here debating it all day, but we had to go with somebody. Vino was the answer, but it was the wrong answer. Nice. Would any of you actually thought of Kindo? I mean, nope. I did. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. All right. Good. No, never. I no, did, no, but I'm not going to judge. Fuck it up, I see the body hit the floor. I won. I won, you fucking piece of shits. I'm the best. Sorry, sorry.